Guess what? My car stinks. It smells like fish. <laughs> but that's no big surprise. Well, it don't smell bad enough yet. So I'm gonna go catch some more fish. I did pretty good on Wednesday and it's Friday now. I didn't quit my job, but I did for the day. I took care of what I needed to do in the morning and now it's about 10 o'clock and I'm gonna drive down to Yaywall Creek and catch some fish with a fly rod. That's right. This is a rare opportunity. Uh, I should be able to catch some fish. I'm gonna go upstream from the bridge. I'm gonna wade fish. I'm gonna get right there in there with them. It's warmer today, which I'm kind of on the fence about whether that's a good thing or not. Uh, it does make it sweaty. You got to take water with you. And it, it seems to go from very pleasantly cool to extra hot in no time at all down here. It's very humid today. There's no wind to speak of. That's a good thing. It's a, about a 30% chance of rain, but... The rain will not stop. I probably won't keep any fish, but we're going to have fun doing it anyway. All right, y'all hang on. It's going to take me about 40 minutes or so to get down to Newman's Bottom. Got to go to the state park. Got to get gas, probably get a bite to eat, and then hit it. There goes Willie. All right, here we go. Y'all hang on. staff this time my fly rod and a creek hopefully they mix well together it's so much warmer it's supposed to be close to 80 feels like it's already 80 especially if you're wearing waders but I've got them turned down and belted so I'm gonna walk way up there 
start out with Ooh, bright sunshine that's the lure I'm going to use that's my spin fly took a blade off a rooster tail I turned a small rooster tail into a spinner fly I just simply put a woolly booger on it so it's fairly light this is my little four weight seven foot rod ought to be a hoot today if I can figure out how to catch them look at that water look at that creek oh it's got a little a little turbid it looks like it's a little more dingy I don't know maybe it's just light levels looks good though I'm gonna walk upstream first as far as I can go and then fish my way back it's easier when I'm using this fly rod to fish downstream I can swing it across the current add a little bit of weight if I need to slack it but this spinner fly ought to really kill them this is what I designed it for that and trout in the White River I'm only one of three or four people down here maybe five I tell you I've got the word out as best I can but nobody seems to be answering it's all right this is a very special place right there's where I started catching them last time but I'm gonna come down I'm gonna come back to that a little bit later in the day right now I'm just gonna go upstream as far as necessary so that I the whole creek is shaded here so it won't be so bad out here in sunlight I'm already starting to sweat wearing these waders with long pants and long sleeve camouflage shirt it's a good idea because that way I don't have to wear no bug spray and it helps me blend in I don't like standing out no matter where I go alright major game trail nice little rapid this is where I'm going to start fishing I think so it'll be a good enough starting point I've sweated enough I need to get in that cool water I have sweated enough oh yeah a lot of stick ups turtles I could go further up but I don't think it's going to be necessary you got to work each and every one of these holes real good before you go to the next one any place where it ebbs back current backwash and it's got some depth to it there's likely to be fish and I'll probably see some spawning activity at some point today I can't believe how good that water feels <laughs> warm up top and cold down in the water uh, this is how I'm going to do it today it also lets me know how deep these holes are it's waist deep 36 inches or so three foot deep that's deep enough to hold a fish my fly is working just like it's supposed to look at this thing Let me get it spinning I'm gonna spin oh well I won't spin at the moment this is fishing waiting for the thump Waiting for the thump. Bottom of this creek is nothing but pure sticks. Just like that. Now all along the bottom. Very difficult walking. This is what I intend to do all the way down, but need to change flies a dozen times before I find out what will work still not convinced there's a lot of fish in here it's hard to do one-handed <laughs> this way you can feel it lying down on the water I can feel the pickup I just hold the string like that on my fingers and I'll actually feel that hit 
You'll never see anything, at least not very often. Generally, once you find where they're holding and you find the technique that works, it can be a lot of fun. That's a good fly under the right conditions. I probably ought to be throwing a heavier fly rod. I think I'm going to trade it out for just a plain old white, fairly good size woolly booger. That is really all you need to take with you. A few flies, some spare string for new leaders in case you bust off, which you will do here. I'm going to grab one of those big white woolly boogers and start chunking it. That casts a lot better. <laughs> We'll work this for a while and see if it doesn't produce. A fishing line attached to a lure. That's why I like free lures. difficult to work. The water's pretty deep out there. Looks like it drops to four or five feet. Too deep to wade it, but I can stick along the edge here. Oh, this crap is impossible to wade through. Every bit of it, even the part you can't see, is just logs and limbs and uneven bottom. This is the hardest, this is the hardest I've had to work for a fish in a long time this is not as fun as i thought it would be <laughs> not as productive either weird I just threw the dang thing in there to get my line straightened out and there's a fish <laughs> I guess that's the right lure <laughs> right at my feet oh that's crazy pure luck I suspect
nice conversation with Gerald there, Gerald Franklin. Now I'm headed home. It looks like we might actually have some rain moving in. Another wonderful day on the creek. Didn't catch but one fish and kind of caught him by accident. Couldn't catch him when I was trying real hard. But that's all right. That's only half the reason I come out here. Spring is sprung. Just waking up. It's probably 75, 80 degrees out here today. And yeah, it is raining back there. All right. Come on. looking thunderstorm didn't do much passed through pretty quickly a little bit of hail in Austin from what I hear but didn't do the lake any good thanks for watching y'all be good bye